Be nice about uh, cleaning out shower heads. Um, now, especially if you use that live in a hard wall rail, you probably find your shower head gets blocked up. You know, it's a funny thing because you get it, it starts off nice with a nice spray, and eventually you end up with jet shooting over here, one going over there, and I've seen them so bad that there's barely any water coming out of them. Um, and sometimes it's not just scour in hard wall rails; it can be bits of rust, uh, bits of debris that gets through the water main and ends up in a shower head. Now, there's several different types of shower head. There's quite, in fact, there's quite a few, and they've all got different ways. Uh, of taking all the bits. Um, now, I've brought four up here that I've got that I can show you. Um, not all of them are doable. Now, I'll show you this really cheap one first, um, and this is sort of like a really uh, a cheap, cheap thing you'd probably get in one of those pound shops. If you've got this type of head, um, to, it unscrews. Now, you see that joint, just get your hand on there and unscrew it like so. Alright, now see that come off there, take it off. Um, and there's all we've got, you know, it's just clearing muck out inside of there. Um, and as you can see, there's not much you can do. You can put these in, in soda liquid and stuff to try and disc, but most of the time, what you need to do uh, is just scrape all the debris off inside there. All right, if there's any there, get it all off, get all the scale and muck off inside. Uh, and again, in this case, you could do with a pin, a nice needle, and just jab through all the holes and make sure they're all clear. All right, just just spice it. We take your time, clean it all out. Make sure this is nice and clean, uh, and that's it. Squirt back in, and you should be all tickety boo back in business once again. That's a really cheap one. Now you may have one that's got a screw in it, like this one. Uh, obviously, this one quite simple. The screw's got to come out, and um, if we take this one out. I'll show you this one, and this one. The middle pops out like so. Now that's all there is there, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple basic affair. As you can see the water comes up through the slots and through the holes of there. Alright, again just clean that out, clean out any debris inside there, shoot it all out uh, and then just slide it back in. Alright, just sit that back in its slot, it will drop back in and uh, screw it back in place. So fairly simple job, not too bad. In fact, that takes us on to our, our more difficult characters. Um, they're, they're, they're moderately cheap devices. Um, this one's one of the ones that, that got sort of like four or five different spraying actions. You can hear it click there. Now you can see there's no screw, no, no nothing to get that off. So how do you get this off? Well, you have to actually go from the side to get these off uh, and get a screwdriver under here to get it out. Now if you can see, you can pop it out. You've got to be a bit careful not to break in it or mark it. Very easy done. I've already made a mark here. So be careful when you get these out. You ease them out gently and it will it will pop out and you can take it to bits so with this type now it's very difficult to part these um, as I showed you can get a screwdriver but look at the damage that can be done trying to get them off I'm not worried there's an old one uh, that I've had in the shed for a while but you can see it will lift eventually but not without damaging this bit too much so um, it depends on you if it really is a, a no-goer um, then you'll have to keep going until it comes off, but it does damage it. So it's best with these type, probably, to leave them alone. Um, they've got these rubber heads that are supposed to be brushed through clean. You're supposed to be able to just rub them and, uh, you know, they'll come through. But once again, with this type, I think the best thing is a, a needle and just run it through all the holes, see if you can get it out. Okay, again, this one, same thing. Uh, rubber. Jets, you're supposed to be able to just rub it over your finger like this and clean all the jets out. Um, and this one doesn't come apart at all. I've tried again, if it's really bad, you're going to have to put a screwdriver down there and see if you can ease it off. Um, but it, it's so hard to get that off without damaging this. Like, like that one there is damaged on the side, trying to get it off. I wasn't worried with an old one. Um, but trying to get it apart um, can damage it easy. I've showed you the damage so you don't do it. <laughs> so don't do it on yours, okay? Uh, I've got these jack spares, it doesn't matter me if I broke, um, damage them, but um, that's just the drawbacks if you've got this type, alright, um, so just try and clean those with the old needle. Alright, and um, that's about it really for shower heads, um, so if you've got a bad one and it, you really can't clean, you can't get it apart, go and buy another one, they're very cheap anyway and uh, it does away with a problem anyway, but if you want to keep the same head and you want to keep it running clear, that's how you do it. Alright, that's it from me. Uh, all my videos are going to go to Derek33.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.
I was about to clean out shower heads. Um, now, especially if you use that live in a hard water area, you probably find your shower head gets blocked up. You know, it's a funny thing because you get it, it starts off nice with a nice spray, and eventually you end up with jet shooting over here, one going over there, and I've seen them so bad that there's barely any water coming out of them. Um, and sometimes it's not just scour in hard water areas; it can be bits of rust, uh, bits of debris that gets through the water main and ends up in a shower head. Now, there's several different types of shower head. There's